Seven years and seven days have passed since Sheku Bayo died in police custody. 22 members of his family attended the first day of this public inquiry, where they were greeted by supporters outside. His mother had travelled from Sierra Leone and sat with her daughters as they spoke of the loss of a much-loved son, brother and father. Nothing mattered to Sheku when he was with his two sons. They, they were his world. And I miss him so much up to this day. I miss him. This video, made by family and friends, was also shared with the inquiry. The purpose was to learn about the man himself and what he meant to those he left behind. Sheku was a fun, loving, cheeky boy. But one thing was unquestionable in the love is the love that he had for his family. No doubt he was a mommy's boy. <laughs> in May 2015, Sheku Bayo had been making his way home from a friend's house in Kirkcaldy when police were called to reports of a man with a knife. While being restrained by officers, the 31-year-old lost consciousness. He later died in hospital. It has been maintained Sheku was empty-handed at the time of his arrest. His sister has described the case as Scotland's George Floyd. I don't feel safe anymore in Scotland. I feel nervous and worried for my children. I fear for the safety of my nieces and nephews. Why should I have to feel this way? This inquiry will look at the immediate circumstances leading up to the father of two's death and examine whether race was a factor in how the case was handled and investigated. Legal teams for all parties involved will give their opening statements tomorrow. What we want is transparency, robustness and the truth to come out. Not just the family, but we need the truth as well. We need to know exactly what happened here uh, because a black man was killed in police custody. He was on the floor in 43 seconds, face down, and there were six police officers. And when that something like that happens, we need to ask serious questions. Police Scotland's chief constable, who met with the Bio family again today, said he welcomed the start of proceedings. Police Scotland are fully committed to supporting this inquiry, getting the truth established and respecting the independence of the public inquiry. Uh, so I'm glad the inquiry started and I think we'll establish the facts in the weeks and months ahead. Thank you. Earlier this year, lawyers for a number of police officers asked for a guarantee that their statements to the inquiry would not be used in any future prosecution. These requests were rejected by the Solicitor General. If these officers have nothing to hide, then they have nothing to fear from coming and giving full and frank testimony to the inquiry. Sheku's family have waited a very long time to hear the truth and that is the very least they are entitled to. Supporters chanted as the family left after a difficult first day. They know it could be years before this inquiry reaches any conclusions. Sharon Frew, STV News, Edinburgh.